Pixel Extended latest version is what released right now with the Pixel Extended version 3.1 based on Android version 11. It's available for some devices. We're going to talk about some device specific things in Redmi Note 9 Pro. It's a mere tool build so can be stored on Redmi Note 9s, Redmi Note 9 Pro, Redmi Note 9 Pro Max and Poco M2 Pro. As you can see it's quite smooth and yes this room is actually buttery smooth. I'm using it for some time. I'm going to show you all the scores, Geekbench, CPU and everything in this video so stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end. In the terms of UI related things as it's pixel extended so the name is clearly telling you that it's based on pixel. All the pixel goodies are already present. In the terms of battery backup as I'm using it from approximately 20 21 hours maybe and as you can see it has approximately of 7% of active range per hour it was at 6 so 6 7% active range which is not so bad it is just without gaming by the way so I've used it for approximately 3 hours tested it it's just working perfectly fine after a long time I'm gonna check out the Geekbench score and let's see that how's the Geekbench score going on 559 is the single core score and 1589 is the multi score multi core score which we're getting here it is not so bad too and as I always told you as I always tell you that Geekbench score or scores does not matter the real performance is what matters and as you can see in the CPU throttling test CPU throttle to 92% of its maximum performance but it was at maximum 164049 which is something really interesting it is close to nearby at WebOS this room or WebOS in my thinking are almost same Pixel Extended has some extra features compared to Pixel Extend uh, compared to WebOS. So yes, I'll rather go for the Pixel Extended compared to WebOS. In the terms of other options, in the terms of customization section, we're gonna talk about customizations. Of course, in Pixel Extended compared to the all Pixel rooms, Pixel Extended has some customizations. Of course, Pixel Plus UI, Pixie SOS, and a lot of extra custom rooms are already are already available, and this room is also one of them. Pixels then where you get some of these customizations even as you can see the default fonts are changed I always love these fonts and which are these fonts this is called fluid sense which you get in the fluid OS custom room so yes looks quite good enough in the terms of other customizations as you can see you can customize the volume panel Oxygen OS style was I've applied Android 12 style volume panel is also present so if you're Android 12 lover or if you love Android 12 volume panel that's present here for you looks quite good enough i think so this is just good enough to use as your daily driver in my opinion it's actually good i've used for approximately two days so yes you can give it a try i didn't got any kind of major bugs till now in the terms of camera related things that which is the camera you get by default of course google camera go edition is good and yes it's good by the way if you compare it to the snap camera which you sometimes get pre-installed that is of kind of no use and i don't think so and if the user use that most of the users will definitely use google camera go edition which is already pre-installed by the way but including that you also get the normal google camera support and i'm using this g cam where you have all these lenses as to photography almost everything seems to be working and almost every customer i have tried this g cam in mere tool redmi note 10 pro redmi note 8 this g cam was working almost fine so i think so this g cam will work on almost all devices mgc by bsg you can also give it a try if you want to i made a dedicated specific video on this thing too in the terms of l1 related things unfortunately it's still not there maybe i have not flashed the firmware and if you want to check out the l1 things if you want to get l1 install this room you can even try installing firmware if this is working for you it's great and if it is still not working for you unfortunate for you in the terms of safenet status as if you don't know safenet is having some issues here so yes this is the main thing to keep in mind the safenet status is passing i haven't rooted my device by the way if i didn't root it then you need to think about that that it's good but if you want to root if you want to install magis i have a dedicated video on the fix that how you can pass the safety net status double tap to wake is just working perfectly fine this was also on the things to concern some users always use double tap to wake on their devices if it is present it's actually quite good it's just working good also they have included the new gaming mode the gaming mode which you get in the exidum ui it's present there also exidum ui is also released for the mutual devices and the video review is coming very very soon stay tuned everything else i've already shown i think so this is all from today's short and simple video gaming mode you can customize a lot of things here this is exidum ui is advanced gaming mode where you get some customizations you can customize this performance level game driver quick start apps notification done maku and a lot more things this is all thanks for watching link is in the description goodbye when i stay over the edge feel
like I'm floating through the air. 